The Devonian period is known as the Age of Fish because it was during this time that the variety of fish began to expand. However, fish evolution began much earlier and can be traced all the way back to the Cambrian explosion, approximately 530 years ago. In this video, we will list nine of the biggest prehistoric fishes that ever lived. Number nine on the list, we have Eusthenopteron. This was a genus of extinct lobe-finned fish. Eusthenopteron evolved near the main line of evolution that led to the first terrestrial vertebrates, the tetrapods. It was 1.5 to 1.8 meters long and an active carnivore with numerous small teeth in its broad skull. The powerfully built pectoral and pelvic fins of Eusthenopteron are its most distinguishing features. This fueled early speculation that it could crawl out of the water and onto land using these fins. As a result, some consider Euthanopteron to be a link to the early tetrapods. It could weigh up to 30 pounds. Number 8. Tiktaalik When scientists discovered the first Tiktaalik fossil in Devonian-aged rocks in 2004, the newly discovered fish made headlines almost immediately. While it was technically a fish, it had several bizarre features that suggested it may have lived outside of water. In addition to scales and gills, the Tiktaalik had air-breathing nostrils on the top of its head. It also had fins that appeared to be designed to support its body, similar to modern four-legged animals. Its unique combination of characteristics makes it an important evolutionary link between regular fish and their four-legged terrestrial descendants. It was around 2 to 3 meters in length and weighed up to 220 pounds. Number 7. Hyneria Hyneria was one of the world's largest lobe-finned fish, measuring over 2.5 to 5 meters in length. The estimated weight was 4,409 pounds. Hyneria swam in estuaries and rivers of the late Devonian period. Its ability to swim at incredible speeds made it a lethal predator. It had large scales, a solid bony skeleton, powerful jaws and sharp teeth, and strong, short muscular front fins that allowed it to propel itself onto land. They were able to survive on land for short periods of time by using their air bladders as primitive lungs, which would have also helped them thrive in oxygen-depleted waters. Number 6. Masonia Masonia is an extinct prehistoric coelacanth fish genus. It is one of the largest coelacanths, with one quadrate specimen possibly belonging to an individual measuring 5.3 meters in length and the estimated weight was 3,000 pounds. It was most likely a dominant aquatic predator, consuming any available prey items, such as other large fish and larger invertebrates that swam in and between river bedrocks. It was thought to be a potential prey item for Spinosaurus, the top predator of the Chem Chem Formation, which Masonia inhabited. Number 5. Zephactinus It was one of the largest bony fish to have ever lived and was truly a monster. It was about 5 to 6 meters long and looked like a toothy, oversized tarpon. Zephactinus is frequently described as a voracious predator. It would have eaten whatever it could get its teeth on. This would include smaller fish, turtles, pterosaurs, and even juvenile mosasaurs. If the opportunity arose, it would almost certainly scavenge. Several Zephactinus skeletons have been discovered with undigested prey in their stomachs. It most likely died soon after consuming such large prey. Talk about indigestion! It weighed between 500 and 1,000 pounds. Number 4. Dunkleosteus the heavily armored fish lived during the late Devonian period, 
between 382 and 358 million years ago. It was an apex predator of the Devonian seas, feeding on a variety of animals, such as ammonites and other placoderms. One of the most distinguishing features of this enormous fish was the presence of bony plates in its jaws, rather than regular teeth. This enabled it to deliver a massive bite force of over 4,000 newtons. Estimated lengths for the various species of this fish range from 4.1 to 10 meters, and it could probably weigh more than 8,000 pounds. 3. Rhizodus Rhizodus fossils have been discovered in a variety of locations throughout Europe and North America. It was a lobe-finned fish the size of a modern orca. It was the largest freshwater fish ever discovered and was an apex predator of freshwater lakes, swamps, and river systems of its time. It was a generalist predator that preyed on small to medium-sized fish and amphibians in the Carboniferous seas. There is also speculation that this incredible fish, like crocodiles, could launch itself out of the water to catch prey on the shore. It was 6 to 7 meters long and weighed approximately 8,000 pounds. Number 2. Titanic Peas The fish was a placoderm, a type of armored fish that lived in the Devonian period's shallow seas. It was one of the biggest fishes of the period. Titanic teeth grew to a fearsome length of up to 10 meters. It also had a flattened, large body covered in bony plates. It had gaping jaws, but no sharp biting surface. So it was most likely a suspension or filter feeder that ate plankton and other small prey by swimming through the water with its mouth open. This behavior is very similar to that of basking sharks. It measured 6 to 9 meters in length and probably weighed 7,700 to 8,500 pounds. And number one, lead sixthus. From the Middle Jurassic to the Late Jurassic, the lead sixthus lived in our planet's prehistoric waters. It is the largest ray finned fish ever discovered, as well as one of the largest fish ever discovered. Despite its popularity and importance, the genus is quite problematic, as fossils have been difficult to identify and interpret, which is why physical characteristics of the lead sixthus, including size, are poorly known. Lead sixthus most likely had two large, elongated pectoral fins, a dorsal fin, and a triangular anal fin. It is unknown if it had pelvic fins. Its lifestyle and behavior have been compared to those of the whale shark and the basking shark. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. We will see you positively in the next one. Take care.